Okay, chat. Uh, yeah, I have not played Guilty Gear Strive in a hot minute. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Guilty Gear Strive is here and uh they got a new character uh the problem is that i have not played uh guilty gear strive in a hot minute uh but i am really interested in uh trying uh some new characters the fighting game renaissance i think has uh kind of subsided for a while you know like there isn't going to be any more new fighting games uh, for a while that things are still in development as of right now we're still just um uh, working on getting uh, DLCs for all the stuff that's already out. And as you're speaking of DLCs, here you go. Um, ABA or ABBA, I think is uh, what their uh, what the character is. I hope I like it. I, I hope I like it. I I, I want I want to be I want to be excited for Guilty Gear again. Good stuff. <laughs> ah! Okay, she's a little creepy. So, she's in a love triangle with the key? Jealousy, love. Whoa, that was weird. Was that a move? What? What? Okay. Oh, we got a new level as well. That's kind of dope. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, I haven't... I haven't touched Johnny or, um... Or the robot girl. I forgot her name. Okay, alright, alright. Uh, yeah, so is the key ABA... Okay, is it ABBA or ABA? Let's just get... Let's just... Let's just uh, clear this up, chat. Is it ABBA or ABA? Like, how do we how do we actually say uh, their name? And yeah, she looks crazy. It's ABA. First one, ABA. Okay, so it's ABA. All right. Um. So when you say ABA, are you are you referring to the key? Are you referring to uh, the character? Like, well, what, what is what is happening here? ABA is indeed in love with the key. Okay, so we're talking about her then. Her hair changed color due to the making sweet love with the key. What? Daisuke definitely wrote the lore while smoking some za on this one. Oh my god. What? There's a guide? Yeah, all right, all right. Her hair changed color when she was getting it on with the key. I think I saw something on Twitter where somebody was comparing her hair to, um, somebody was comparing her hair to the Statue of Liberty and the differences between how the Statue of Liberty was, um, bronze, but then over time, uh, it, uh, got oxidized, yeah, the oxidation, uh, happened and it started to get green. So are you telling me that after uh, she was getting her sugar walls completely busted wide open, all deep inside those walls, um, that the key turned her hair green. Is that what you guys are saying? Because I think that's what you're saying. And damn, that's some serious, uh, serious uh, uh, lore there. <laughs> So the key does not seem like he's too interested in what's happening right now. She she just she just came out through the portal, jumped on top of him, and he is losing his damn mind. He's like, "What is your What are you doing?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, a uh, clingy girlfriend? Much? Yo, uh, we need that. 
Oh, that's that's great. That's great. Um, uh, I need to say, what is the because um, I remember the character, the original character of Guilty Gear. Let me. I, what was the original character, chat? Uh, yeah, the original uh, Abba had the bronze hair. So it's the same character. Okay, I thought it was a different one because uh, the original had short hair, but I guess uh, this one grew the hair out. Okay, all right. I thought it was a different character altogether that was with the key, but no, it's it's actually. So, wow, look at the eyes. So, this particular character was really strange in uh, Accent Core, and they're still following that same uh, trope of the character just being way over the top, and I'm all for it. Guilty Gear is really known for its really uh, over-the-top, unorthodox characters, to be honest. So, uh, I, I like the dynamic of that. They, they, they know how to make really fun, interesting characters at the end of the day. What is that? What, what is going on? Like, I, I, is, again, the character personalities, I, you, you have to get... I, it's, it's like, um, it's like dealing with, um... Uh, the robot chick or the rock and roll uh, chick. I always forget their names, but uh, it's like dealing with these characters. It, it's like it, it, they're just over the top, strange, weird, all of the above. It's fucking uh, uh, horny, but uh, at a at a personality level, right? Yeah, Eno. Yeah, Eno is a guitar chick. Yeah, all consuming flame of jealousy of love. Um. Yeah, Eno and Elephant, yeah. Wow, okay, so those moves look kind of nutty. Uh, it looks like she has a teleporting move. That's gonna be tough. That was weird. So this was, that's what I've noticed before. What is this move? Is that an actual move or was that just the characters just running around? Oh god. Look at her eyes. Uh, I could tell they had fun animating this character. Let's do this. Let's go here, I think. I think that's slower. Of course, the audio gets crazy when you make it slower. Uh, I don't know. It seemed like it was going faster. It's going faster. Wow. that's I, 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 It's actually going slower, but she's moving so fast. So it's not a move. It's just her run animation. It's not a move, it's just a run animation, and Chip is running away. And look how fast, what in the hell? Are they, are they racing? And then she goes for the grab. And she slaps him! She gives, she scratches him a little bit. Okay, that's cute, that's cute. Um, no, she, she looks badass, man. Uh, I like it, but am I gonna main her? Probably not, uh, but I'll give her a try. I, I, don't, I don't see a, 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 yeah, I don't see a reason not to, to mess with her. Um, I didn't actually learn her too much in uh, Accent Core, but uh, she was a force to be reckoned with. I remember getting bopped by plenty of guys that that used her really well. But um, uh, if she's fun, sure, I'll go. I'll go ham sauce with her. But uh, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens when she actually comes out and I start, you know, messing around with her and see if uh, she's actually uh, decent to play. She looks like a close range character for sure. Very close range. Uh, but um, let's see if she gets like big damage and stuff like that. Um, and her mobility. Her mobility has to be good too. A lot of the stuff that comes down to me actually trying with these characters is mobility, uh, power, uh, like how, how much damage they can output. Uh, and um, uh, and uh, I'd say relatability in the idea of how well do they fit in in, in my particular playstyle. So yeah, um, I'll I'll mess around with that a little later and we'll see uh, all the madness. So yeah, um, good stuff. Uh, she seems like a lot of fun. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. That's all I can give you. That's all you're getting. That's it.